texting is convenient and can help you get to know someone better, but it can also be a minefield for mistakes that can sabotage your chance of finding love. It's easy to fall into common texting pitfalls, especially in today's fast-paced digital world. Number one, overwhelming with too many texts. Do you ever find yourself constantly texting your crush only to receive no response? You can't help but think about them all the time. You simply wanna know more about them, talk to them, be close to them. And what better way to do that than texting? So you send message after message, hoping for a reply. You don't mean to come across as needy or clingy, but the more you text, the more anxious you feel. And when they don't respond right away, you start to panic. So you send more texts, hoping to get their attention. But as those hours turn into days, you realize that something is off. Your crush isn't replying to any of your messages. Did you do something wrong? An avalanche of messages, one after the other, until your phone battery dies. It can be frustrating and confusing, but according to communication expert, Dr. Elizabeth Dorrance Hall, it's also a major turnoff. She says that bombarding someone with texts, especially when they don't respond, can be seen as overwhelming and annoying, which can then hurt your chances of building a relationship with them. So it's important to be aware of how often you're texting and the content of your messages to make sure you're not coming across as pushy or needy. Instead, take a step back and respect your crush's boundaries and space when texting. This can help you build a stronger connection with them in the long run. Number two, being too generic or boring. Running out of words to text? You've been crushing on this person for a while now and you finally worked up the courage to start texting them. You were so excited to have their phone number and couldn't wait to start chatting. But as soon as you started sending messages, you realized that you were stuck in a rut of generic and uninspired texts. You find yourself sending messages like, hey, and how are you? With little thought or effort put into them. And when you didn't get a response right away, you started to feel anxious and unsure of what to do next. According to Dr. Eli Finkel, professor of social psychology at Northwestern University, sending generic or uninspired messages like, hey, or what's up, can make it hard to stand out and connect with your crush on a deeper level. Instead, try to be thoughtful, engaging, and genuinely interested in their life and hobbies. Using open-ended questions can also help keep the conversations going and lead to more meaningful discussions. Remember, putting in some effort and thought into your messages can go a long way in building a genuine connection with your crush. Number three, misinterpreting tone or intent. Have you ever had a conversation over text and found it hard to understand the other person's intentions or emotions? You were excited to finally get your crush's number and start texting them, but soon you realized that communicating through text can be tricky. Without the nonverbal cues that come with in-person conversations, you found yourself constantly wondering about their tone or intent. You start to overanalyze every message, trying to read between the lines, and sometimes even jumping to conclusions. This can cause unnecessary conflicts and misunderstandings, which can leave you frustrated and confused. It can be tough to accurately interpret the meaning behind a message without the nonverbal cues you rely on in face-to-face -face conversations. According to Dr. Sherry Turkle, a social studies of science and technology professor at MIT, this is a common issue in digital communication, especially when texting. It's easy to misinterpret someone's tone or intent leading to misunderstandings and potential conflicts. That's why it's important to be aware of the limitations of digital communication and to avoid assuming things or overanalyzing messages. If you're not sure about something, don't be afraid to ask for clarification. By taking these steps, you can foster better understanding and stronger relationships with those you text. Being aware of the common texting mistakes and taking action to avoid them, you can enhance your chances of finding success in the dating world. It's important to remember to be respectful, engaging, and clear in your text messages, as this is the foundation to building meaningful connections with others. We would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please don't hesitate to share it with your loved ones. Your support means everything to us. And we look forward to providing more insightful content in the future. Until then, take care of yourself.